Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And I'm really excited to share with you this journal that I just finished. This is, I'm calling this the Woodland Wonderland Journal because it has a woodland theme throughout. And it's a nine by six journal. It's, the cover's a little bit bigger than nine by six, of course. And um, the, the fabric on the cover is this beautiful suede embossed fabric. And this focal point is made from a master board that I created with texture paste and stenciling. I have a frame on here the, from the Tim Holtz Ideology Collection that I distressed and, and uh, worked with. And also some plastic and metal embellishments and also some of the metal corners. The closure is made up of a, a metal piece that I um, glued into here it's glued into a it has a, like a shank on it and so it's glued inside and then the chain closure has these leaves on it and it can be removed from either end so it's, it's very easy to remove just by opening it up and then taking the chain off so the chain can be taken off to be out of the way the spine cover is made from trim here and then this is another piece of trim with a spray dyed applique. There's a, um, a, a brad here that attaches it to the spine cover. And then the dangles are the book jewelry. We have a leaf to keep with the theme of the woodland wonderland and a butterfly and a paper bead that I made. And I'll be doing a video of those shortly. The back has some vintage lace on it that is uh, I did not copy dye this or anything. The color of this is the actual color of the vintage lace. And so why don't we go inside and see what the signatures look like? So this first signature, again, keeping with the woodland theme, is made out of, in fact, all of the signatures are made out of wallpaper and then collaged on. So I have a bird here and some flowers, the stamps, um, this stamp here has deer on it and then a, a butterfly. This piece of collage paper is from a book on music. So there's some music notes here, it talks about soft harmony, exquisite beauty. And that's kind of what I hear when I'm in the woods listening to the birds. I never listen to any music uh, from a radio or anything like that when I'm, when I'm in the forest because I just love to hear the forest sounds. I put a clock here and a safety pin with this butterfly hanging on it because whenever I go into the woods, for me, it's a time for reflection and it's a time for sort of resetting my soul. And the safety pin sort of just depicts how I feel about that. Like safety pins sort of fix things and that's what being in the woods does for me. It, it fixes things. So I have a nameplate here with some inked paper that says uh, journal on it. There wasn't room to put it on the front, so I put it here. There's lace here and on the back cover as well. So let's go inside. Oh, and by the way, there are many um, techniques that I, in, that I used in this journal that I have videos on. I'll point them out as I go, and then I'll create a playlist that has all of those videos in it and link it at the end. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for letting me share this with you. This is exactly how I feel when I'm in the mountains. Happiness is the only good the place to be happy is here and the time to be happy is now. There's some handmade paper here, some stamped paper and stenciled. Uh, here's uh, some, you know, coffee dye with lace paper, some beautiful a little card with a, um, a hidden paper clip, which is what that is. I have a video on making those. And then you also get this postcard that's dated 1911 with a little message on there. Some eco dyed paper that I did a while back. Pretty uh, pansy page there for the center of this signature. Here are a couple of other vintage items here. This uh, things to do little calendar page from a 1947 calendar. And then this postcard as well also from 1911. The little altered paper clip here that I made, which I also have a video on, and a coin envelope. The coin envelope is empty for you to fill, so I have a video on this too. 
then some Edith Holden and some other, this is actually two pictures right here that I uh, collaged together. Went for a country walk in the early morning sun. And then we're coming to the end of this first signature. Here's some, a little glassy envelope with some vintage stamps in here. Pockets made out of wallpaper. And then uh, this is from 1930, 1931, a season ticket. Lots of texture, lots of collaging. Here's a second signature with this uh, beautiful green woodpecker and a couple of paper buttons, which I have videos on. There are two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. Here we have this uh, Viewmaster Reel booklet that I made. It's from Yosemite and the reel still is intact. You can take it off and put it in a Viewmaster if you have one. And then it has this little booklet attached with an owl on the front with some coffee dyed and stamped paper inside. So it's just held on with a brad and you can go ahead and uh, view that if you have a Viewmaster or if you run across one. Okay, a little belly band right here. Here's a little flip up or a little, yeah, just a little lace flip up right there. More coffee dyed and stenciled paper. This is a little pocket right here that you can uh, put things in with a little saying down here, Whispering Pines connects you to yourself. Here's an owl collage on handmade paper. A little girl sitting on the squirrel, which I had fun doing. <laughs> Here's a loaded pocket made out of uh, book pages and some inks, inking that I did and uh, that I also have a video for on doing the ink backgrounds with some, uh, a couple of tags in here and room for more tags as well. Some more eco dyeing and collaging. Pretty birds in the center. more collaging. Here's another tag. This, this video, um, or this, this tag was also made on the um, inking video, which I'll link. And the tags all have places to write on the back as well. Here's more collaging. And you also get the rest of the pack of the Viewmaster. There's two more reels in here from Yosemite. Well, it just fits right in there. This is a napkin decoupage on the inside of the wallpaper. And this part was done with collage paper, texture paste, stencils, and paint. This is the third signature. And we have here two leaves that I decoupaged on or collaged on and sewed on and made made into pockets. And inside these pockets are these little tiny booklets. And they just fit right in there. And again, these are real leaves from my backyard. More napkin on the inside. This is a little flip out. We have a little bee right here. Little, cute little mouse and on the other side we have this beautiful little um, can you see that am I still in frame yeah okay so these are leaves uh, to cover the other side of the brad that's holding this little bee in place and then some bees with some honeycomb and the little surprise saying underneath there some more paper buttons and lace more uh, coffee dyed paper and stenciling. Here is a pocket that I made out of an envelope and a slide. So, and I do have a video on that as well. A little place to write on this little tag that fits right in here. And then some uh, collaging and stamping on that tag as well. Here's some from a field guide from things you might find in the woods. Some more eco dyeing. Um, an Edith Holden page. And then this is a pocket right here with some collaging on it. 
and inside is some note paper for you to use. This is uh, the other side of the field guide. And it comes to the end of the signature with another pretty note card in here and some more hand dyed or handmade paper. This is a belly band that I made and I have a video on that as well, but I glued it to some vellum so that it would become a pocket. And then this is the, the back side of that signature cover with this little flying butterfly girl that I just loved playing with with some distress glaze on and I have a video on that as well. So I hope you enjoyed that, but that's not all. This is going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. And what you get in addition to the journal is this little packet of goodies to play with. And in this little packet of goodies is this little, this is the other half of the envelope that I showed you I made the pocket out of. And inside here, you open it up, there's a tag that goes inside the window. And it's a little three-fold um, booklet that you can write on. Another one of those pages from that 1947 calendar with some rub-ons and just some embellishments on there as well. So I'll set that aside. And then you also get this little package. Hopefully it's not glaring too much. There we go. You get this little package of offcuts from making the journal. And there's some coffee dyed paper in there, a uh, little paper ruffle, some buttons and ribbon, uh, some lace doily, the edging part of it, as well as some uh, scrapbook paper and book page. So that's, you know, if you want to add more pockets or make tags or make some hidden paper clips, um, you've got some things to do that with. And you also get this beautiful writing board that you can use beneath the pages or under under the pages so that when you're writing, if there's embellishments on the page um, below it, then you get a nice surface to write on. And the writing board has some Edith Holden on both sides. And then also uh, some stationery to if you want a coffee dye it or stencil on it or make cards out of it or anything and then this uh, this cool piece of craft paper that you can use to play with as well as this piece of wallpaper to use inside your journal so this like I said this will be for sale in my Etsy shop as soon as this video goes up it will be for sale so I hope you enjoyed this flip through as much as I enjoyed making the journal. This is um, a beautiful handmade journal. And I don't know if I mentioned, but the, uh, this has leaves on it, this little chain closure to go with the woodland theme. So again, I hope you liked it. Um, I hope you'll take a look at some of the other videos that are going to be listed and learn how to make some of these other embellishments and some of the techniques that I have. And I hope to see you soon. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'd love to have you. And please leave me a comment because I really enjoy uh, reading your comments and I do answer everyone. So thank you again. Thanks for watching. And let the serendipity find you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.